automatic control system is a closed to loop control system generally in closed to loop control system the input element and the output element is compared the value of the output element is compared with the value of the input element the input is given by the operator and the output is taken from the surroundings where this system has been implemented here the output value is compared with the input value to get accurate results it is simply to improve the accuracy of the system this is the circuit uh, diagram that is this is the flow chart of uh, this uh, automatic control system here we could see that the input value is compared with the output value using comparison element and the error signal is sent to the controller in general speaking we could say that this controller is nothing but a unit that uh, just sends control signals to various unit if to make it simpler we can also imagine that this control system is nothing but a microprocessor unit or a microcontrol so here what happens you could see that the comparison element here the comparison element the comparison element compares the signal from the output area so first in general speaking we assume that there is no feedback signal in this system we are just putting an input so the input moves to the controller so here the controller that is the microprocessor unit just sends control signals to the actuator actuator may be a motor step mode step motor or um, uh, some driving unit this actuator is nothing but a driving unit uh, there may be many number of uh, actuators in a system so like one two three four so this controller sends signal to the particular actuator so this actuator just makes changes in the controlled that unit suppose if we imagine that this actuator is connected to the arm of the robot then this controlled variable is nothing but the arm itself so this is the motor in the arm unit this is nothing but the motor itself this controlled variables is nothing but the position of the arm so a sensor is kept in the arm which measures the position of the unit so then what happens the sensor we also say that sensor is also is known as transducer because transducer is a unit that converts one form of energy into another form so here a sensor is also going to do the same thing so we could call a sensor in generally transducer so now what happens the sensor has detected there is some error in the system so it is the sensor is saying sensor is not going to find any error it is just going to uh, feed the it is just going to feed the comparison element about the position of the arm so it is just giving the information of the position of that arm so here the job is to this comparison element this comparison element 
finds the difference between the actual arm position and the required arm position given in the input so now after comparison this error signal is given to the controller again the controller what it does is it sends the control signal to the actuator so again the motor drive rotates uh, rotates to set the arm to the required position so again what happens the cycle repeats if it is not situated precisely at the position so 